Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. Uh, so the last time I talked a little bit about, you know, choosing the right photographer, you know, to get the right test uh, to add images to your portfolio. But what I didn't really get into was uh, how you actually prepare for a shoot. See, uh, you don't just uh, go into a test without studying, do you? You don't uh, go into a game without weeks and weeks of preparation, you know, to give your best performance. So same thing applies to a photo shoot. So what I want to go over today was how to properly prepare for a photo shoot in these specific ways. So stay tuned. And as always, guys, if you're enjoying uh, the content that I'm putting out and you're finding great value in it, you know what to do. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, share this information as it may be beneficial or helpful to other aspiring models or people who are just getting back into the game. So without further ado, let's get to it. So what do you think is going to be the most important thing you're going to need to do before testing? What's the most important part of your body when you're modeling? I think it's going to be your hands. I think it's going to be your body. Or will it be C, your face? Well, that's it. It's gonna be your face. So you're gonna to need to do certain things to make sure that you have a clear and glowing skin so that you're putting out the best pictures uh, possible when you're about to shoot. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you're getting plenty of water, at least a gallon a day, um, up to three, three days before you're actually supposed to test. You know, water is going to flush out a lot of toxins. It's gonna to make sure that your skin is, it has a nice glow to it and it's nice and smooth. It's not gonna any wrinkles, lots of, it's, it's good for getting rid of a lot of blood blemishes and it's probably going to rid you of any pimples that you may have. All right, next tip, you're going to want to wash your face at least twice a day. I'd say once in the morning, um, you know, when you're showering and then once at night right before you go to bed. You're going to want to open up those pores, again, uh, getting out any sort of toxins, any sort of, um, you know, oil or dirt that's kind of been uh, building up, like uh, when you, once you've just been out in the world and things like that. And on top of that, you know, you can also exfoliate uh, a couple times a week, you know, leading up to that, that, uh, that shoot that you're going to have with that photographer. Another thing you do, you can make sure that you're getting plenty of exercise leading up to that shoot. See, when you're when you're sweating you're getting rid of a lot of toxins out of your body so again you want to have like a great skin and then a great body on top of that obviously you're going to want to you know do nice vigorous workouts uh two three times a week leading up to that shoot day so you're you're again so it's kind of going in with getting enough water too you know the water that um that's going to flush out toxins but then also sweating out getting those toxins out of your pores is going to expedite that process as well. Make sure that you have nice glowing skin. And a tip that I've gotten from other models is you can actually take a few supplements. One is called Dandelion Root and another is called Water X. These are water retention supplements. And these supplements, what they're gonna do is they're going to regulate water retention. So, and then they're also going to give your, your body and muscles like a nice toned, you know, uh, lean physique. And also it's going to, uh, you know, make sure that your cheekbones and your skin really, really pops out in the photos. All right, these next couple points, they're going to be pretty clear, uh, uh, straightforward, but they still need to be said. So you're gonna wanna get plenty of sleep. Uh, I think that's something that, you know, some models they kind of overlook um uh, just getting plenty of sleep not just to look good but to also feel good you know you want to go into the shoot um ready to move you know ready to give feedback to the photographer really putting out your best fo your photos and things like that you want to make you want to shoot this the test as if it's going to be um worldwide it's going to be a national worldwide campaign so you want to make sure that you're getting plenty of rest uh, you're drinking plenty of water and you're getting the right diet and things like that too you know for obvious reasons other than just the skin you want to make sure that you you're replenishing uh, your body with the right nutrients so that your body has energy to put out into a great product another thing you want to get into the habit of is uh, stretching a lot of people uh, don't realize how much moving we do uh, when we're at shoots and things like that contorting of the body looking back you know you don't want to feel like you're stiff if the photographer is wanting you to move a bunch or if you want the clothes to move a certain way so stretching is definitely something that you'll want to do um every day uh, at least you know five ten minutes a day you know your major limbs you know mainly your legs and things like that you don't want to be stiff in photos because it's going to show another tip is you'll want to do your research and what do i mean by this um i don't go into any test or any sort of shoot without um, looking at, first of all, the storyboard or whatever mood that I'm trying to um, display during that shoot. And then I also wanna kinda get uh, other ideas and movement poses from other models. Like if I'm, I'm, I'm trying to mimic 
something from Gap or um, Polo Ralph Lauren or um, uh, athletic shoes. So we could say you could use Adidas or Sorel or Nike or something like that. I'm going to want to make sure that I'm, I'm doing my due diligence. I'm looking at um, some past campaigns or even current campaigns and seeing how those models for those shoots move. See, again, what's the point of testing? We want to test to make sure that we're putting out images that reflect national ads, the things that you that you would see um, in stores and things like that. So uh, make sure that you're also studying other models and seeing how they move too. Because again, they could give you great ideas on how you can move and then you can push that back to the photographer while you're shooting and you, you guys can kind of flow. You guys can build a rapport that way. And last but not least, have fun. You know, this is modeling, man. This isn't, you're not um, selling insurance. You're not working at a morgue. You're not, you know, uh, shoot, freaking figuring out how to, you know, you're not doing astrophysiology phys or anything like that, man. You're, you're, you're modeling. You're uh, you're becoming an actor, an actress for today. You know, you're, you're portraying emotions and feelings without using words, you know, so, you can you can have fun with it, man. Be be silly, be cool, you know. Be fierce, be all those things like how I've been, how I've been saying in previous videos. Um, um, but again, talk to the photographer. You know, see what kind of mood that you guys are going for during the shoot because again, you don't want it to be um, anything that's too serious. You know, even if it's a, a high fashion shoot, you still want to make sure that there's a, a component of fun to it because you'll want to work with the photographer again as they will also want to work with you again if you were a pleasure to work with. All right, guys, so those are my uh, quick tips on uh, how you prepare for a shoot. Let me know if you guys have shoots coming up. Uh, let me know how you like to prepare. Leave uh, comments in the comment section below. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.